All right, good afternoon, everyone. I uh, hope everyone's having a good day. Like I said uh, earlier this week, I'm going to start making more uh, videos with tips and things that can help you on your uh, journey of welding and fabrication. So today, um, uh, the tip of the day or the tips that I'm going to show in this video, it's not necessarily tips per se, but um, it's the tools that you need for the trade. Um, these are essential tools that uh, you need if you're going to weld and fabricate. Um, the list I'm giving you is pretty much like the essentials. Obviously, I'm not going to list everything, um, but I'm going to list the things that you definitely need uh, as soon as possible. And um, let's see, where do we start? Number one, uh, a good welding helmet. Uh, you know, I know there's places that sell, like, welding helmets that are, like, you know, super cheap, things like that. But uh, in all actuality, you want to get a good welding helmet. Uh, it's worth spending the extra money to get a good helmet because you need to be able to see. Uh, I've tried using helmets that were, you know, cheap, and it was terrible. I couldn't see. And um, it's a good way to, like, lose track of the puddle and run off the course. So if I was you... I would just invest the extra money or put money away and uh, get you a, excuse me, get you a helmet that's uh, pretty decent. Um, tools that you'll need. Uh, you need to get a, a combo square, a, fa a combo fabrication square. You need to get a carpenter square. You need to get clamps, uh, you know, alligator clamps, bar clamps, um, things of that nature. Uh a dead blow hammer, a tape measure, obviously. Uh, what else? Uh, an impact gun, uh, an impact wrench, um, or excuse me, an impact gun, a drill. Uh, what else? Um, let's see. Uh, I'll pretty much show you what I have in my tool bag. This is what I take with me every day to work. And um, this isn't... Uh, everything but this, these are my essentials and also yes you'll need a, a framing square as well so a dead blow hammer this is excellent for uh you know if you're trying to get a piece of metal in and it's you know you you, you just tap it and uh, it won't do any damage to the metal these are pretty useful uh gloves of course uh, i got the uh lincoln electric welding gloves what else? Um, a good tape. Don't don't get a cheap tape measure. Like um, you really want to get a good tape. I like Stanley Fat Max. Uh, Milwaukee makes a good tape as well. Uh, let's see what else I have in here. Let's see. Um, I got a Milwaukee um, Carpenter Square. Really, really um, useful got some clamps uh, you want to get the clamps with the flat whoops sorry one second with the flat part it grabs on the metal a lot better um, I got a bigger carpenter uh, square for like when we're doing uh, huge um, you know huge pieces of metal like six by six uh, things like that or you know um, what is it called uh like eye beams or things like that if you need to make uh, like markings on it uh, things like that uh, what else um i don't know what these are called but they're really convenient they're really good clamps the uh, i guess they're the quick easy clamps that's what i would call them they're pretty convenient. Uh, you need a level, of course. Whenever you're building, you want to try to you want to make sure everything's level. Uh, let's see. A wrench set. I got this at Harbor Freight for like ten bucks. Pretty good deal. I know. Um, What's it called? Uh, other places they sell wrenches, like a wrench set for like 60, 70 bucks. But they're really good wrenches. But I don't use these wrenches all the time. But it's always good to have them just in case. Let's see what else. Um, I like some of these miniature bar clamps. These are pretty cool. Very convenient. Um, what else? Uh, 
um, you want to get you a digital caliber, a composite digital caliber. This thing uh, is very useful when you're trying to find out the gauge of a metal. I use this all the time, especially when like uh, I would go take a weld test. Uh, I would check the gauge of the metal or read it on here digitally. It's either you can have it in inches or millimeters. And it's awesome because once the number shows up on here, you look to your machine, set the machine to the right setting, and then boom, you're ready to take your weld test. What else do I have? Uh, also, you want to get you a... Get you a socket set. Get you... Um, uh, what else? Uh, I'm trying to think... Framing square, I said that already. Um, what else? I also got me a, a Milwaukee tape measure. I like these. They're awesome because um, on the back it has the architectural scale for uh, doing uh, you know architectural measurements and stuff like that, which is really convenient. Because uh, that's pretty much a lot of the welding I do is architectural welding, fabrication, things like that. So um, that's pretty much it off uh, off of the top of my head um oh yeah and i know it's all based on pretty much what you prefer but me personally i uh i wear a respirator when i weld because um you know if you want to do this for a long time you need to make sure that uh, you take care of your health i got a knockoff welding respirator it looks just like the miller respirator but i got it off amazon for like 30 bucks but it works really good so I think that's about it. So, um, I'm going to end this video. Uh, like I said, this was just naming some of the essentials you need. Obviously, I didn't name everything. Uh, you know, if I'm obviously, I probably missed a couple things. So, uh, if I did, you know, it's, uh, it's always good to look at other videos and, you know, pretty much, uh, pick up from different welders advice and you know tips on equipment and things like that so um i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions feel free to contact me uh we're uh, i'm here to help i'm here to help serve my community in any way possible if you have any questions about welding if you have any questions with anything in life uh you know if you uh need prayer feel free to contact me and uh, i hope you guys have a good day